Herzlich willkommen am Stand von Cummins. Ich freue mich sehr, Sie alle hier begrüßen zu können in dieser zahlreichen Runde. Ähm, sie erwartet ein Highlight der diesjährigen Bauma. Dieses Highlight, Höhepunkt, wird in englischer Sprache präsentiert. Selbstverständlich stehen meine Kollegen und ich Ihnen nachher zur Verfügung, auch alle Fragen in Deutsch zu beantworten. Vorerst möchte ich Sie aber nicht weiter langweilen, sondern ich übergebe das Wort an unseren äh, Chairman and CEO Tom Leinbarger. Uh, danke. Gu guten Tag. I'm Tom Leinberger, Chairman and CEO of Cummins. I'm excited to be with you at Bauma today. There's no better place or time to reveal our next generation engines for Stage 5, which I'm sure you can guess are underneath these covers. Cummins first began powering off-highway equipment in the 1920s. Nearly 100 years later, our engines reach further than any other engine brand supplying engines to three-quarters of the top 25 construction equipment companies. These are global businesses, and they need leading technology to help them compete and win. Cummins delivers value to these customers in three main ways. First, we're a technology leader that provides the highest performing products at the lowest total cost for our customers. We offer a global network for engineering, supply chain, service, and support, allowing our customers to compete anywhere in the world. And we approach partnerships in a way that's unique in the industry. In 2015 alone, Cummins launched 76 new and improved products. We launched new products in every region and in every major segment to ensure our customers have the latest and best technology wherever they compete. These products meet local industry and emissions requirements, of course, but they're also tailored for performance in their specific applications. More and more, these products are also included with connected diagnostics. Cummins Telematics System, which enables our customers to combine engine data with equipment data and business data to improve performance, increase uptime, and of course, reduce cost. Our connected diagnostic system is currently in over 35,000 trucks and buses with Cummins engines. We're now extending this capability to power generation, marine, construction, and mining customers. And we expect to triple the number of connections by 2017. We also have major technical and manufacturing centers and robust supply chain networks in every major region around the world. That means we can design and make the engines where they're needed providing the right products for every market at the right cost. We also own and operate more than 80% of our global service network, which reaches now 190 countries around the world, allowing us to maintain the same high standards of service and support to our customers and partners, again, wherever they operate. All of this is why at Bauma, you'll see more than 60 Cummins customers. You'll see Cummins engines in more than 180 machines. And you'll see more than 60,000 horsepower of Cummins engines at this show. Nearly twice the number of installations of any other engine maker, captive or otherwise. We are thrilled today to, in to introduce at Bauma our four new ultra clean engines for construction, mining, and materials handling at stage five for 2019 ready to show you today. As you know, emissions hurdles are driving change around the globe. And we want to make sure our customers have simple solutions so they can win every time. As such, these engines provide an opportunity to transform the capability of our customers' equipment in terms that they care about most. Cost, power, performance, and productivity. From the outset, we designed these engines to reduce the total cost of operation. Our engine architecture is simpler and more compact, 
with no EGR, and a compact after-treatment system that's 50% smaller and 30% lighter than its predecessor. We have longer service intervals on these engines, 10% more power and 20% more torque than today's products. We have improved fuel consumption and improved fluid economy, plus improved reliability resulting from simpler design and years of experience with these technologies, all at lower emissions targets. Ultimately, when customers use these products, they will win. Now, I want to hand it over to our Vice President for Engineering, Jim Fear, who will get into more details about the technical aspects of these engines. Jim? Thank you, Tom. I am delighted to introduce to you the next generation of engines that are designed to meet the Stage 5 regulations to be launched in January of 2019. In the last BAMA, three years ago, we were talking about the Stage 4 product. At that time, few, if any of us, anticipated that the next stage of standards would be upon us so soon. We have met that challenge with the engines you see before you. These portray our vision of the Stage 5 being more than just emissions. We have taken the opportunity to reinvent the engine and redefine their performance standards. These engines will leap ahead of their Stage 4 version by means of extra power, extra torque, without the need to increase displacement. Each of these engines is intended to set new benchmarks in their class. While these engines have been designed to meet European standards, they will have a much broader use. Yes, we will certify them to, tier, or to stage five, but we'll also certify them to tier four final. In fact, they will be used across the world as a universal engine standard. You may have noticed these engines look far more compact. That's because we've removed EGR. By removing EGR, we're able to realize the full potential of these engines by freeing up the combustion to provide more performance while consuming less fuel. For the 3.8 to 9 liter engine, excuse me, our 12 liter engine has paved the way to this EGR-free design. Coupled with the new after-treatment system, the single module, we are able to achieve more torque and more power. For the 3.9 to 9 liter engines, this translates into an average of 10% more power, while in some cases up to 30% more torque. You can see the torque comparison on the same platform in the chart behind me. Stage five is shown in red. Stage four, tier four final, is shown in black. For the machine, this higher torque means a faster, stronger engine response when the machine needs it to make the machine more capable. EGR-free design also requires less cooling. To the OEM, this means smaller cooling packages, which is less installation cost and frees up valuable space. You may be asking yourself if these substantial improvements have trade-offs on fuel or urea usage. Our stage five development work has demonstrated on average a 3% reduction in fluid costs. In addition to the engines just revealed, I would also like to announce that start-stop will be part of our Stage 5 products. This technology, along with telematics capability, will be embedded in the engine's electronic control module. The results have been impressive. 5 to 15 percent reduction in fuel consumption is available depending on the amount of existing idle time. Next to our engines, you can see our new after-treatment systems, the single module. 
single module combines the DPF, SCR, doser, and mixer into one unit, freeing up 30% in weight and 50% in space claim. We're also focusing on reducing the maintenance cost for our stage five products. We looked at every opportunity. For example, we now have a service-free crankcase ventilation system. We also have the opportunity for service intervals up to 1,000 hours. With simpler architecture and fewer components, our stage five engines, there is inherently less to go wrong. We have removed sensors and fault codes no longer needed. And with an EGR-free design, we're able to simplify the air handling system, which only requires a single turbo. With all these initiatives, I'm very pleased to say our overall in-service reliability will rival that of engines meeting emissions three levels behind, taking us back to the reliability and service simplicity associated with our stage 3A and tier three engines. A remarkable achievement. Come in stage five engines across the 500 to a 100 power band, have a very high tolerance to sulfur and fuel, 5,000 ppm versus the ultra low sulfur spec of 15 ppm. This tolerance removes a major barrier in reaching one of our goals of a universal engine platform. OEMs will be able to use the same engine platform for every emissions need and standard, something that has eluded the industry for years. In closing, let me thank you for attending our product reveal today. As you can see around the booth, our theme is technology that transforms. It is about how we bring better solutions to help our customers succeed. Cummins stands ready to serve the industry with the most capable products tomorrow at stage five, as we do today with our current product. If you'd like to find out more, we have a lot of people standing by around the booth ready to answer your questions, now or any time during the show. Thank you and have a great Bama 2016.